Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial on aerial photographs. In today's lesson we're going to look at the different types of aerial photographs and we're going to look at how to locate different things on aerial photographs. Um, please remember guys to check out more of our videos on examvision.ie and to subscribe and to check out our videos on YouTube. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at exam revision for you. Okay, so we're going to start off with the different types of aerial photographs. Okay, so an aerial photograph, first of all, is a picture of an area. Okay, and it's usually of an urban area, a coastal area, or a rural area. And they usually take an aerial photograph, usually from helicopters or maybe from an airplane, or they can even do it from satellite. The first thing we need to know is there's two different types of aerial photographs. The first type of aerial photograph is called a vertical photograph. And the second type of photograph is called an oblique photograph. So you can have vertical photographs and oblique photographs. You might be thinking, what is the difference between a vertical and an oblique? Well, this is something that you need to be able to identify on the photographs that you get um, in the junior certificate examination. You have to know when you see the aerial, aerial photographs is it a vertical photograph or is it an oblique photograph? I'm going to tell you in words first and I'm going to show you two different examples of a vertical and an oblique photograph. A vertical photograph is when the horizon cannot be seen in the background. Okay, The camera is directly over the area being photographed. An oblique photograph is when you can see the horizon in the background or in the picture. The camera is placed at an angle when taking the photograph so the horizon is, you're, is able to be seen. Another thing just to remember is in an oblique photograph you can usually see the side of buildings. In a vertical photograph it's like a bird's eye view, it's looking directly down and you usually cannot see the sides of buildings. Okay, so have a look at this photograph here. This is, an, this is an aerial photograph. And it's either going to be an oblique photograph or it's going to be a vertical photograph. So I said that a vertical photograph is when you cannot see the horizon and an oblique photograph is when you can see the horizon. So have a look at this picture. Can you see a horizon in, anywhere in this photograph? I'm looking all the way around and I cannot see a, an horizon in this photograph. So if there's no horizon that means that it must be a vertical photograph. I also said you could look at the buildings and if you can see the side of the buildings then that can indicate that it's um, an oblique picture. If you cannot see the sides of buildings because you're looking straight down on the picture then that will indicate that it's a vertical photograph. And I can't see the side of the buildings because I'm just all I can see is the roofs because I'm looking straight down like a bird's eye view. So this is definitely a vertical photograph. Okay, so now we have a different photograph. And the last one we looked at was a vertical picture, a, vert a vertical photograph, sorry. And this one, we have to try to figure out what is it. First of all, can we see an horizon? And if you look at the back here, you can see that there is an horizon. So if there is an horizon, that means that it's going to be an oblique photograph. Another way I told you that you could you could tell if it's uh, vertical or oblique is if you can see the side of the buildings. And I can definitely see the side of many buildings here. So this definitely indicates to me that it's an oblique photograph. If it was vertical, I would not be able to see the, see the horizon or I would not be able to see the side of the buildings because I would be looking directly down on uh, the buildings, on the roof of the buildings or whatever uh, area I was looking at. So this is definitely an oblique photograph. Okay, so there we have it. We've looked at the two different types of photographs you can have. You can have a vertical and an oblique. And then below, we can see the difference between the vertical and the oblique. The vertical, no horizon. Oblique, you can see the horizon. Vertical, looking straight down on top of the roofs and, and vertically down on it, like a bird's eye view. Cannot see the sides of the, sides of the buildings. Oblique, you can see the sides because you're looking at, at it at an angle. So the next thing we're going to look at is how do we tell and locate things on 
uh, aerial photographs. So I'm going to start off by looking at vertical photographs first. Okay, so this is the vertical ones looking straight down, just like in the picture above. And if I wanted to locate the stadium, or if I wanted to locate maybe the car park, or if I wanted to locate an area of, of green, or whatever it might be, some, some, some trees or some houses, some residential houses, oh, you need to be able to tell me whereabouts in this map that these things are. So, most vertical photographs contain an arrow. So most contain an arrow, a north arrow. And if they contain the north arrow, we simply locate on vertical photographs by the means of compass points. So we use the compass to tell um, and locate where things are in the vertical photograph. So, on vertical photographs, we locate uh, things on the photograph by using the compass points. Okay, so if something is in the center, right in the center, we we say that's located in the center. If it's in this box here, this area here, we say it's north. If we say it's this box here, it's south. If it's this box here, it's east. If it's th this one here, it's west, northwest, northeast, southeast, and southwest. Okay, so I'll actually put a photograph in here and show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so with your aerial photograph, to locate um, on the vertical photograph, what you need to do is you need to divide it into th uh, three different areas. Along the bottom and three areas along the top, okay? So you get you should have nine different areas, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically, I'll just get the distance across here. Whatever the distance is, divide it by three. So if this was like 21 centimeters, divide it by three, and then I'll go from there to there, be seven, line up, there to there, seven, line up. Okay, if this distance here was 24, and again, just divide it by three, and then that would be eight, so it'd be eight centimeters from there, draw a line across, eight centimeters up, draw a line across, and there we'd have nine equal boxes, okay, so squares. Um, now, if I asked you to locate a car park, okay, you might say the car park is in this square here, so I would say it's in the south. Now you might also say there's a car park over here, so if this if you want to pick this area, you would say the southwest, or you might pick this car park here, which you would say would be the west. If you wanted to locate um, where the batter um, would hit the ball from on this map, you would say it would be right here, so this is in the middle uh, square, so we would call this the center, okay? If we wanted to locate a large green area that was not on the football pitch, we would say the large green area is up here, and that would be the northwest. If you wanted to locate um, where some residential area, some buildings, some big buildings, or maybe a residential area, you might say this, it might be this square here, so that would be east, and so on. So this square here, is northwest. This one here is the north. This is northeast. It's the center. East, southeast, south, southwest, and the west. So that's how we locate on vertical photographs. The next location that you need to know for an area photograph is for the oblique photograph. Okay, so this is the oblique photograph. So when you can see the horizon in the background, that's how you know it's an oblique photograph. And you need to be able to locate uh, the different uh, things in an oblique photograph. So you might be asked to locate a football pitch, or maybe the lake, or maybe um, a football stadium, or whatever it might be. And you have to be able to locate it. And we don't use uh, the compass points for an oblique photograph. Instead, we use um, background, center, and foreground. Okay, so I'll speak more about this now. So, for an oblique photograph, we use the background, the center, and the foreground. So just like with the vertical photograph, we will split our photograph into nine different sections, and then if something is located in this box, we call, we will say it is the left background. If it's here, it's the center background, the right background, left center, the center, right center, right foreground, center foreground, left foreground. So all you need to remember is 
background, center, then foreground because you know left, right, and so on. Okay, and I'm going to show you this in a photograph just like I did with the last one. So this is what um, an oblique photograph might look, might look like. And what you will do is you will divide it up into nine different sections. And you simply do that by finding out the length um, of, the, of, the, of the width. Okay, so find out the, sorry, find out the width, how, what it is in centimetres, if it's say 21. Well then divide by 3 and then every 7 centimetres draw a line. And likewise with here, if this comes out to be maybe 15 centimetres, divide by 3 and then every 5 you will just uh, simply draw a line across. Okay, you draw a horizontal line across. So if something was, if you were asked to locate maybe um, a football pitch, which is down here, you will then say it's in the centre foreground. If you're asked to, lo to locate um, some an area with um, deciduous trees, which is down here, you will say it's the left foreground. Uh, left foreground. If you want to locate this box, it's the right foreground. Uh, sorry, the right background. If you want to locate something in here, you'll say it's the center, right center, left background, center background, and so on. And that is how we locate on oblique photographs. Okay, so we've looked at the different types of photographs, vertical and oblique. We've looked at different ways to identify which is which. And then we've looked at ways to locate, um, how, do we, how we actually locate certain areas on vertical photographs and how we locate uh, areas on oblique photographs. And that to the end of our tutorial. If you enjoyed the tutorial, can you please leave me some feedback? If you would like some more videos on uh, photographs or maps or any anything for the for the junior certificate examination um, on the course, you can check out my website where you'll find all the videos, examrevision.ie, or you can get all the videos on YouTube. And please, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? And the YouTube channel is uh, youtube.com forward slash examrevision. And if you'd like to keep up to date with all our latest news and all our latest videos that we post, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you.